Vlogmas. Okay. You made the door. <laughs> if you uh, watched day one, I said Merry Vlogmas at the end. And Sammy, Sammy told me that I made that up. And so, and I laughed. And so now he says it anytime I say the word Mom, Vlogmas. you made the door. Yep. Uh, anyways, today's December 5th. My day did my mom say. <laughs> And just got all the kids up. Everyone's been fed. And we have about 15, 20 minutes until we start Porter's school lesson. I just realized I'm covering the speaker. Okay. Um, or the microphone, I mean. Whatever. <laughs> so we have about 20 minutes until we start school. So I'm sitting here with some coffee and knitting. I had to change coffee cups because my... The one that I had in my intro this morning, it has a gold handle and I can't microwave it, which I tend to need to do many times. So after it cooled down, I had to, or like after it went cold, I had to switch cups so that I could microwave it. <laughs> what are you doing? Just being a silly goose? Uh, so yeah, I'm getting a few rows in on my dad's second sock. I think I'm what set up good to have it finished by Christmas Eve, which was my goal. I have some goals this week. Um, goal number one I'm is to is to finish through the heel and the heel turn hey, on that sock. I, say hi. I want to finish. I say hi. Okay. To finish the first mitten of my friend Kendra's, which I think will be doable, and I would like to finish my llama vest. I have finished all the ribbing on the body, so I just need to do the ribbing on the armholes and the V. Those are my goals for this week. I'm hoping that I can um, okay, stick to those. Know. And yeah, I do have a lot of cleaning to do again today. I feel like I say that every day, but well, I have a lot of cleaning to do every single day. And lots of laundry. Uh, so yeah, oh, we're gonna get the day started and this one if you haven't noticed he is but kind I of like you. I love you too he is my right hand man he's with me all the time he <laughs> he's in a little clingy phase right now which is fine uh, but he just wants to be near me on me touching me talking to me all day long so we'll see a lot of Sammy <laughs> say talk to you later I can tell you riddle. <laughs> so silly.
now 150. Got both of the younger kids down for a nap. Got the kitchen cleaned up from lunch. Porter helped me with some laundry as you would have seen. That's the kids laundry and oh my gosh, every time I do their laundry, I do it about once a week and it is just a mountain. And thankfully, he's pretty easy to talk into helping me separate it. <laughs> so that's what he was helping me do. And then he got a bath. Today's just bath day, I guess. Everybody's getting a bath. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to open an advent because I didn't open one yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday. It was Sunday, so I took the day off. But I get to open an advent today. So let's see what it is. Ooh. Nice. Okay. This one is called Moths. Again, this is a secret garden themed advent uh, box by Gem State Yarns, which I will link her shop below. This is what it looks like. Wow, it looks way more purple on camera than it does in real life. It's more of a gray. Uh, it does have a purple undertone, but it's not as purple as it appears here. And you can see it is kind of uh, just different tones. There's some specks in there. Very pretty. Moth. And this one has a little sticker in there. Some flowers. I don't know where I'll put that, but I'll put it somewhere for sure because I love flowers. So that's today's advent. And you saw earlier I was working on, or I tried on my Lana vest. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. I really like it with this top. I was doing laundry downstairs and this was in the pile of laundry and I said, ooh, I want to wear that today because the, the sweater I had on this morning was kind of itching. There was like a thing around the neck that was kind of itching me so I changed into this and thought, I think my vest would look really cute with this and it did and now I can't wait to wear it. I uh, picked up stitches along the neck and the V to do the ribbing. One second. And anyways, I was picking up stitches and I got all of them done and it was like close to 100 stitches, I believe. Maybe more than that. And I realized I did it on the wrong side. You're supposed to do it with the right side facing. And I did it with the right side of the front facing me, but you start on the back neck. And so I technically had the wrong side facing. And so I had done pearls. Well, I, I did knits all the way around when I picked them up. But looking at it from the front side, it looked like pearls. So at first I thought, that's okay. I'll just do the opposite of what the pattern says to do for the ribbing and like the decreases and stuff. Uh, but then I realized that's not gonna work because I already did, technically I already did pearls all the way around on the right side. So I had to, I can hear the neighbor's dog <laughs> howling. Uh, I had to rip back all of the picked up stitches and redo it. But now it's done and I can actually start working on that ribbing. And then when that's complete, I'll do the arms and then she will be done. Now another project I haven't really shown much in Vlogmas yet is my Christmas sweater. And I'm making some really good progress on it. This is my Malwina sweater. What is going on? So, I, I always forget which side is the front and which side is the back. I think this is the front. I don't know. <laughs> I have to look at it again. There's, I mean, I, there's short rows in the back, but I can't tell which side has the short rows. They just blend in really well, so it's hard to see. Okay, so anyways, this is what I've got. And, I, oh, I might, I might almost be done with the body, actually. I need to try it on. This is, oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. I've said before that I don't typically like to wear red, but this red is very pretty. Ooh, I'm so excited. And look at that raglan detail, it's so beautiful. This yarn has really good stuff, the stitch definition. So it's just beautiful. And I have 
about half a ball left that is connected now and then two more balls and I'm thinking that I may put the body on hold knit both sleeves to the correct length and then depending on how much I have left I kind of want to make this really long it also depends on how it fits over my hips because if it's not that baggy I'm not gonna like squeeze it over my hips that would look really weird but if it if it is ending up to be like a nice big fit on me I would like for it to be longer to wear with leggings but to where it covers my bum <laughs> so yeah we'll see about that I did I went up a size in the pattern I usually wear a small but I'm making a medium in the hopes that it will be a little bit oversized and it doesn't look super oversized here but I have not blocked it yet and it has a lot of, of give so, man, we shall see. I think I will have this finished by Christmas. I was unsure, but it's Erin weight and it is knitting up very quickly. And I have not been working on it very consistently and even then it's still knitting up quickly. So, um, as soon as I finish my Lana vest, I can work on this even more. So I'm excited to have a Christmas sweater to wear on Christmas day. And if I'm not finished with it by like the 22nd or 23rd I will probably just knit monogamously on this and probably stay up way too late to get it done because if I don't get it done by Christmas I can tell that I then it'll probably sit for a while because I won't have that wear it on Christmas deadline to look forward to you know so yeah that is that I'm getting this feeling in my throat like I'm getting sick you know that feeling? It's like, it's been, it was really dry last night and it made my throat kind of scratchy, but then this morning my throat just feels gross and it doesn't really hurt. It just feels like yucky and I hope I'm not getting sick. I feel like we have gotten so many sicknesses this winter already. Actually, <laughs> the last time we were all sick, so all the kids got sick and then I got sick and my husband got sick and I had posted on my Instagram story about the kids first and then about me and I was saying like I'm so tired it's only noon and I've already fell asleep twice and I just feel nauseous and the stories about my kids had already expired and so then it was just the one story about me being sick and I got so many messages asking if I was pregnant and I was like no 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 way not possible <laughs> uh, but my symptoms I mean they were pretty much the same. I was so dead tired. Like I said, it was noon and I had fallen asleep on the couch twice already and I just felt terrible. All of us got it and it was like a week of, oh, it's the worst. <laughs> but we've all been well for a little while now. So I'm hoping this doesn't turn into something. And especially not for the kids. Having the kids sick is so pitiful. I will show you guys real quick though uh, my Vertices Unite shawl that I started. I'm still on section one. <laughs> I talked more about this in my last podcast episode. I'm still on section one, but I have faded into the second. That's the wrong side. I have faded into the second color. So I don't have enough yardage of any solid colors. For this pattern so for my color a I have two colors so it was the blue and then this uh, greenish color so I have faded into that for the remainder of this section to go along with the color B the purple and I really like the way that it's looking and I think once I get all the colors in this it is gonna look so stinking cool the colors are just awesome it's all if you haven't seen my podcast, I don't want to get all the yarns out because there's so many. But there's blues, greens, and purples. Yeah, and it's all like a little bit dark and moody. I don't know. I just think it's going to be really awesome. It's a long-term project because it's a lot of knitting. I'm doing the bigger size. So it might be more like a blanket by the end. Uh, but it's really just a fun like stash buster project for me. Cause like I said, I just put together a bunch of different colors to 
make up the colors that I need. If that doesn't make sense, my, I explain it <laughs> more in my podcast. Uh, yeah, that's really all I'm working on right now. And then my socks, my dad's socks and the mittens for my friend Kendra. So I, I think I'm actually going to make myself some tea, some hot tea. Maybe that'll make my throat feel a little bit better. I did just order, ooh, I'm so excited. So my husband and I love tea. I've said that a million times. And we got this Christmas in Paris tea, which is so good. It's lavender and mint and chocolate. It's delicious. And we've already gone through almost all of it and Christmas isn't even here yet. So I was gonna order more, but then I found from the same company, like a holiday sampler pack. And that is included, but then there are also a lot of different ones. There's one called Christmas Eve and I forgot what was in it, but I remember reading it and I was like, oh, I need to try this. So it should be here in a few days and I'm really excited to try all those new teas. Uh, but for now, I think I might make me a Christmas in Paris tea. It's a very gloomy day. It's been raining all morning and it's not too cold, but it's a little chilly. So a nice hot cup of tea sounds really nice. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And of course I'm going to sit and knit a little bit. And I think, I think I have a few videos to catch up on. I haven't checked my subscriptions page yet this morning, but I believe there are a few. So I'm going to catch up on that, knit, have some tea, and fold all of that laundry that we just separated. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys soon. almost. It's five o'clock. My husband will be home from work soon and we will have some supper. We're just going to have hot dogs tonight because I have not been to the grocery store yet. That's actually on my list for tonight to get together a grocery order to pick up tomorrow. Um, and then the kids will go to bed. <sighs> Rosie. The kids will go to bed and John and I will watch some TV and I think I'm gonna go to bed early tonight because staying up late is catching up with me. So, yeah, and we have to get up a little early tomorrow to take Maggie down to the vet because she has her spay procedure tomorrow. So hopefully that goes well. Um, if you saw my Instagram, she wasn't feeling well the other day, but she's good now. So she's good for her procedure tomorrow. And we did end up finding a carrier to take her in, so I don't have to put her in a box which is really good. Um, so yeah, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. As usual, we're just kind of at home, you know, 
during the week we don't I don't leave the house much with the kids I do also I babysit another little girl she basically is family at this point um, and so she's been here today too and she's usually here during the week but uh, so I don't I don't dare take four kids under the age of five out in public by myself so we're usually just home uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.